All right, so I got everything laid out. So now I'm gonna come back to my practice paper and I'm going to just mess around with my paper and just um, play with, you know, the different values. So I got my layout done and now what I'm going to do is I've got some pencils here, some colored pencils, and I thought, you know, we've practiced using colored pencils. You have some experience with it and so what I'm going to do now is just come back in here and uh, 
start doing some colored pencil work. So, what I want to do first is figure out where my light areas are. Now, most of us, unless everybody's kind of similar in this way, but um, we have some general light areas in our face. Okay, and so we're going to be um, documenting those. So, um, some of the light areas in our face, and since I have pretty light skin, um, I'm going to be using white here, and so what I'm going to do is this is one of the light areas right here. The under your eye, the cheek, okay, that sticks out and light usually hits it. Okay, so I'm just going to put kind of a light base right here on my cheek. All right. And another light area that we have is on our nose, the top of our nose. Not this bottom part, but the top of it, okay? Because it sticks out and light hits it there. All right? And then I also have light kind of right up here. Usually our forehead is kind of a light area. And I also, you will also have a light area above the top lip, right here, because light hits that. And you will also have a light area right here under, like, you've got this lip that comes out and then where it bends, because everybody's face has this, that is usually where light will hit as well. Okay, so we're gonna just document that all right and then I have kind of a pink skin tone so I'm gonna come back in here and put a little pink in on top of the white I'm, so, I'm not happy with this line right here Get rid of that. all right pink pink up here just to give my skin some tone to it okay now if you you know you have to just look you have to look at what color you are because everybody's a little different color I can't you know you're all not like me that's for sure you know everybody's different we're all different but our proportions are very similar okay and so you're gonna need to look in the mirror, look at your phone, whatever, and just figure out, okay, what color do I need to try to get for my light color? What is my tint color on my face? And then go ahead and tint in these areas so that you've got some areas that are popping up. All right, because those are the, when you make it light, it comes forward. When you make it dark, it goes backwards. Okay, so now I'm gonna take a dark tone. All right, so my dark tone is gonna to be for the recessed areas of my face. So that would be areas that go back into my head, like my eye sockets here. Okay, they go back into my head. Down the bridge of my nose. I think that's what that's called. And then Right here, this little part right here has got kind of a darker spot to it. And I'm not pushing super hard with my colored pencils. I'm just um, trying to build up some value. And we'll go into the eye here later, but we're just, you know, getting some value right now. Another place that's dark is under this lip. 
So if you take a line under and then you gradually grade it out, and then I've got some lines here on my face that have value. Usually along your hairline, it's kind of dark because your hair, you know, hangs over your head and creates a shadow. And some of these areas I'm leaving alone because I just want the paper bag to show. Then. I also have a dark area here in my nose holes. And underneath here where my nose comes out is darker. Okay, now some of you, your head is totally going to can't freak out for sure right now. And you're like, uh, 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 <laughs> but just hang on to it, you know? Just don't like totally freak out. You can always get it lighter again. Like, I don't like how this looks. So I'm going back in with a lighter pencil. And it looks a little weird right now to my eyes, but I trust the process. Okay, then this top lip up here is always darker, unless you've got light shining up into your face like you're in a spooky movie. Okay, and it is not gonna be bright red, but it is gonna have some color to it, you know, and I, I don't, I'm not a big lipstick wearer, but just the natural color is going to have some pink to it, and then this bottom lip is going to be a lighter pink, and then you're going to have some darkness in here in the cave of your mouth, okay, so I just put a little darkness in there. And then now we're going up to the eyes. All right, so for the eyes, I'm gonna start by giving my eyelashes their job here. And the whites of your eyes, remember, they're not completely white. They've got shadow in them. And then the, this is the pupil. Yeah, the pupil is going to be black, black, black. Okay, so let's blacken those in. And I'm going to put a little outline of black around my eye because I've got kind of a dark line going around my eye and then I'm gonna leave part of this alone so like this right here I'm leaving that alone because that's gonna be the light shining in my eye okay and oh I guess I suppose I should do the other eye Always looks better when you get your eyebrow on. Okay. And then uh, I think I'm going to put a little black. 
black in here just because it um, to just increase that contrast level. my eye lashes look like this, but that's okay. We can always dream. There we go. Um, let's do down here. Okay, so this area is like a huge cave, and it is a dark down here because light don't get under your chin unless you're in a scary movie. And the light's coming down from below, but most of us, the light's always coming from above with the um, lights on the ceiling, you know. So I'm really going to grind some pigment in here, get it nice and dark. And then my chin, I'm only, you know what, I'm just going to give myself one chin today. <laughs> And blend some of this over it. super dark under here like there's no light coming here compared to the rest of it and that'll really make my chin pop out forward visually okay I think I'll put a little black in here too just to kind of increase that tone There we go. All right, and now for the hair. So for the hair, um, I'm gonna like start with my medium brown, and I'm not gonna draw every single hair on my head. I'm just gonna draw a suggestion of hair. And remember, you want to keep that colored pencil sharp. We don't want it scratching the paper. That's just not good craftsmanship. Okay, I'll go in with this tone. And maybe a little of this tone. I used yellow in my other one. That's okay. I don't know. There we go. And a dark tone. Nobody's hair is one color. The light shines on it. So, you should think, you know what? You're gonna have a few colors going in there for your hair. Even if your hair is black, it's still gonna have some tones to it. Okay, 